Osteoporosis is a disease which slowly makes her bones weaker and more brittle. There are two types of osteoporosis, primary and secondary. We all experience some degree of bone loss as we age, and primary osteoporosis is just a larger degree of bone loss than normal. This is common with women age 60 and up. Secondary osteoporosis occurs as a result of certain medications, such as cancer drugs, or if they have other conditions such as chronic kidney or liver disease. For this video, we will be focusing on primary osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a worldwide issue, and it is becoming an increasing health concern for the public. It is estimated that over 250 million people are suffering from osteoporosis in the world, which is roughly 3% of our population. The projected number of individuals affected with osteoporosis has increased by 100 million individuals since 1960. The baby boomers cause an upward shift in the aging population and thus the prevalence of osteoporosis skyrockets as well. Women pose a greater risk for osteoporosis as they possess smaller bones and due to the loss of estrogen at menopause. Around 30% of postmenopausal women suffer from osteoporosis in America and Europe. In the US alone, 24 million individuals are affected, 80% being women. Of the affected individuals across the world, 40% of the women will retain at least one of their fractures for the remainder of their life. In addition, Caucasian and Asian populations are more profoundly affected by this condition. Unfortunately, the prevalence of osteoporosis is expected to rise in the upcoming years. By the year 2050, there is a projected increase of 240% in women for the worldwide incidence of hip fractures due to osteoporosis. It is estimated that the number of hip fractures shall increase to 6.3 million in 2050. Pathology and Risks of Being Affected The skeleton is constantly remodeled during our lives. The remodeling happens due to the activity of osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Osteoclasts are cells that break down bone, while osteoblasts are cells that build new bone using minerals such as calcium. Normally, the breakdown and rebuilding of bones are balanced, keeping bone density constant. However, in osteoporosis, the balance is disrupted, and the osteoclast activity is much higher, which results in less dense and more fragile bones. One of the main causes of one of the main causes of this increased osteoclast activity is estrogen deficiency. Estrogen normally inhibits molecules that promote the production of osteoclasts. Therefore, with low estrogen levels, the production of osteoclasts is uninhibited. Due to this, osteoporosis is common in postmenopausal women as they have low levels of estrogen. Now, you might be wondering if you are prone to osteoporosis. There are some risk factors for this disease. Some risk factors to predict bone mass include age, female sex, Caucasian or Asian race, early menopause, low body weight, cigarettes, and low alcohol consumption, and low calcium. Exasperating factors that induce the condition. There are many factors that contribute to the condition of osteoporosis. Firstly, hormones play a large role in the development of this condition. Sex hormones such as estrogen are found to be decreased in women postmenopausal. This causes a large increase in osteoclast number, which breaks down and weakens the bone. Secondly, weight can play a role in the formation of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. A body mass index, or BMI, less than 19 kg per meter squared, has shown to correlate with low bone mass density. The BMI is a measure of the body fat based on your height and weight, as this serves to indicate if your current weight is healthy, underweight, or overweight. Women in the lowest range of percentage of body fat or BMI had up to 12% lower bone mass density compared to women in the highest range. This is due to low levels of osteocalcin, which are involved in bone formation. Finally, weight can play a crucial role in the development of osteoporosis. 
A high sodium diet can cause the body to lose calcium, which results in bone weakening. As well, low protein intake can be detrimental to bone structure, as protein gives bones its strength and flexibility. Overall, the use of harmful medications such as steroids and inappropriate lifestyle choices can enhance the severity of this disease. However, the risk factors do not indicate osteoporosis, they are just predictors. If you are concerned that you have osteoporosis or that you are prone to the disease, please contact your doctor. If you are diagnosed with osteoporosis, here are some current treatments available. Current drug treatments. Initial treatments for osteoporosis include estrogen therapy or estrogen and progesterone therapy, which are used to counteract the effects of estrogen deficiency predominantly in postmenopausal women. It allows for an increase in bone density, which reduces the risk of spine and hip fractures. However, it can be associated with cardiovascular disease as well as breast cancer. Current treatments include denosumab, which works by inhibiting the maturation of osteoclasts. Another drug treatment which is used in the present day is calcitonin. It is a hormone that controls calcium levels and is well known to reduce bone pain. As well, it reduces the risk of spine fractures through inhibiting bone reabsorption and thinning. Treatments such as alendronate and ibandronate are medications that block bone reabsorption by inhibiting osteoclast activity. Resendronate is another treatment for osteoporosis for men and women who are under long-term steroid treatments. It works by reducing bone fractures and slows down bone loss, therefore increasing bone density. Osteoporosis is a growing health concern. There are many factors that result in the decrease of bone density and the increase in fracture risk. Your risk of getting osteoporosis can be reduced by leading a healthy lifestyle with a healthy diet. Even with osteoporosis, there are many treatments available that will allow you to have healthy strong bones and a happy life. So remember, don't forget to drink your glass of milk tonight.